everyone welcome back to creatively crafted life this is Melanie and today we're gonna do a scrapbook layout using a page kit shocking I know right considering how uh, many page kits I've put together it's about time I start using them so the photo I am using is a picture of my niece and I believe the photo was actually taken this way my sister is holding her um, but I, I'm not sure if I'm going to orient it that way or if I'm going to orient it this way yet. We'll see. I played off of the purple. We don't have a ton of purple in uh, the scrapbooking world, but I did actually have one page kit. And it was using this half sheet from the Hip Kit Club Rainbow Sherbet um, that has this really pretty soft floral. And then I have this polka dot, and this is more paper than cardstock. And this is from Doodlebug 2004. Yes, all the way back then. <laughs> and it's called Lime Ricky Polka Dots. And I also have from Stampin' Up, again, this is also more uh, paper than cardstock. And I don't remember what collection this was from, but I chose it for the aqua mint color. So to further enhance this kit, I pulled in a white 12 by 12. I could use this mint as the backdrop, but I think I would like to use it as a layering piece. So I did pull in a sheet of the white and I thought it might be fun to kind of frame it. And so I'm also pulling in this sheet from Illustrated Faith, Hearts and Kisses. So what I'm thinking is something along this line here where it's going to have this mat all the way around but you know I don't really know what I'm doing at this point this is just what I've pulled as far as embellishments go I pulled this sticker sheet that says baby mine this is from uh, Cartabella and there is yellow and the aqua colors in here so if we pull this through you can see those colors obviously not a lot of pink but I'm sure I can make something work from there from also from Cartabella Rockabye Baby there are some of these um, mint or aqua colors and especially like this one here Sweet Dreams that's why I pulled it for finishing touches I've got these puffy heart stickers from Bella Boulevard in a cotton candy mix I also have from Freckled Fawn um, some epoxy hearts um, there is purple in here it's not the same purple but I don't think that really matters in this case and then I also have an assortment of enamel dots. I also went and pulled from Pink Paisley Little Adventurer Wood Veneers. And I also pulled in these Amy Tangerine Inflated Ephemera, mostly because of the purple. And this is where I got inspired with the black, is because there's black in here. So I've got the purple and the mint and the black. That might be kind of fun. We'll see. And then I don't use frames very often, but I think I should challenge myself to start using them. So I do have this gold one and I have this pre-created shaker pocket frame. Um, it is falling apart, <laughs> so it was clearly very well constructed. I don't remember who I got these from. They were probably discounted like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something like that. So I am, will glue this uh, together for sure. I also had floating around in my stash these jumbo hearts in white that I thought might be kind of fun. I don't know. We'll see. These have been around for a long time. I think these were maybe a close to my heart die cut thing. I don't know. I also have one chipboard heart. So that is that. And then if that wasn't enough, <laughs> I pulled out my color bin with the purple section. There's not a ton in here. But this little tag might work, not with the orange, but you know what, you can always color, cover that up. And then I have my die cut sticker binder with the purple section in it. Let me do some preliminary sorting and figuring out what direction I want to go. And I will come back and show you what I came up with. It's funny how you pull all that stuff out and then you use only a fraction of it. Okay, so this is not glued down, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to use this full sheet of the, well, the full half sheet of this pattern paper. And it had a branding strip on it that I'm going to keep because I kind of like the way that looks. I might move this up a little bit and add one of the border strips on here. I'm not too sure about that yet. For the matting or the photos, I think I'm going to... Uh, play off with all three layers and this is probably going to go off the top 
and then down, sorry for the glare. And then I'm going to use some of these hearts. Um, I don't like that they're cut out. I wish they were more solid. So I'm thinking I am going to back them with the pattern paper that I have. And I think I have this one somewhere. So each one will be a different. And then on top of that, we're going to lay these inflatable hearts. And then the title will probably go up here maybe somewhere. Not sure about that yet, but this is where I'm at at this point. So here's the completed layout. Pretty much what I had indicated just recently, but I did add a few um, little things like these label stickers here. Um, one uh, to make a mat for the title. I found without this, because of the color and the color of this cardstock, this just got lost. So by adding the little mat, I think that helps it stick out a little bit. I also added that tag up here. I just cut the orange piece off so that you didn't see it. And then the other label went here for my journaling. The There's a lot of white on this page. And so I added the stitching around the white hearts to make them pop a little bit more. And because of all the different patterns, I did add lines just to kind of break things up and give your eye a place to rest, or at least that's how I think it works. I still have a little bit of this cardstock and a little bit of this one plus this left. I don't think I'll leave these in a kit, but what I might do is just throw these in my scraps and maybe I can come up with a base page for them. So that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you spending the time. If you enjoy these types of videos, please click the thumbs up button or the like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you will know when I have posted more. Thank you again. And until next time, happy crafting.